there is this cheeky little blonde bitch named Renee. <laughs> Hey, what's up? I'm Renee Raff, and I'm gonna be playing a game of song association with Elle. I'll be given a word, and I will have 10 seconds, no more, no less, to sing or rap that in a song. Before we get into the game, make sure to check out a song that I have literally never tried to promote in my life, Tattoos, which is my first song. Go check out Tattoos. Thank you. This necklace says pre-save tattoos, and <laughs> I've managed to make this song my whole personality. <laughs> Change. Change. Um, when I, when I change the come, I don't know what song that is. When I change to come, it might be a musical theater song. Waiting, waiting, waiting on the world to change. That's a good one. Oh, that's John Mayer. Slay John. Song. Song. Um, uh. This is my fight song, gonna say my life song, oh, my song, oh. Slay Rachel, that's good. Pick. 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 Pick, like P-I-C-K? Uh. Mean. Why you gotta be so mean Sunday? I'll be. Bigger than of this city, and all you have to be is me. I think it's Taylor Swift. Or, if I want to go like very deep cut, it's not really deep cut, but I do Mean Girls on Broadway, and I say, mean, 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 like every night, but up like two octaves. <laughs> like very high at the end of the song. Let's pray, okay? Mean! It'll be like that. It'll be super high and pingy, like very musical theater. I was Regina in Mean Girls on Broadway um, after high school, and it was so much fun. But there's this part in that song that I was just singing, World Burn. There was like a lift in the back, basically, and I'd have to like run around the back of the lift, and then I would get buckled in, right? And then I'd have to like look like this, and I couldn't move. And I'd have to sing the literal like highest part of the song. It would just like raise me up, and I'd be like, ah, oh, so and it would be crazy. Um, and the lift used to stop some nights, which was great. But also what the audience didn't know is I could literally see every single person's face, like every person. So like I never, ever, ever was in character. I was literally just watching people in the audience the whole time. And I did not get fired. Girl. Girl. Um, Alicia Keys. This girl is on fire, fire, fire. This girl is on fire. I love that song. It's good. Or, tell me you're my girl. Which I think is, uh, everything you want is yours. I can't think of who sings that. The internet? I think it's the internet. Free. Free. Um, free. Can I, mm, no, free. Uh, what the f says free? Again. Again. Oh, this is an Ingrid Michaelson song that's on my head. To begin again, to begin again, to begin. Da da da. Another day, I will write another way. To begin again, to begin again, to begin. I love you, Ingrid. We know each other through Broadway. She wrote the Notebook musical that's coming out. Um, look how much I'm talking about musicals. She wrote it, it's coming out uh, like later this year, I think. And the music is, I'm gonna cuss again. It is f phenomenal. It's so good. And um, she did all the music for it and she's amazing. She's such a good songwriter. Tattoo. Where do I say tattoos in the song? Oh. If I'm being honest when you look at me, it's like kissing a million angels. And every tattoo is so intoxicating from your neck and right down to your ankle. There is this cheeky little blonde bitch named Renee. <laughs> Who has this song, Tattoos, that I think everybody should go listen to. It's written about a really shit situation with somebody who is like not ideal, but the greatest songs come from the worst situations. 
and it is a song called Tattoos. Another fun fact about tattoos, I was on like a two week, like kind of like a bender. I didn't go to college, so I never feel like I had that experience to just like go off. And so I took the opportunity and I was going off and doing way too much. We just smoke weed or you're like drinking, right? You have a come down. We were just talking about this. And my come down was very intense. And I wrote this incredibly emotional song about someone I, could, you could not pay me to um, look at literally ever again. Very nice person, very nice person, but I don't know what the entire I was doing. Um, so yeah, I was crying, I was writing it, and at first it was supposed to be a really, like, a really nice song. It was supposed to be like, oh, this is like so lovey-dovey. And then I was like, oh, actually, I don't really think I care much about this person. I think I would just rather be with somebody than be by myself. And that's what happened. Money. Money, 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 money. And that is the intro song to Shark Tank, which is one of my favorite shows. Fun fact, I once met Mark Cuban, and that is the most starstruck I've ever been in my life. It was NBA All-Star Weekend, I believe 2018 or 2019, and it was in Charlotte, which is where I'm from. I was like, that's Mark Cuban. I was like, that's daddy. I didn't call him daddy to his face. Um, I didn't. I should have. Frankly, I like daddy. It's like a, like, it's kind of like a character trait. I call a lot of people daddy behind their backs. Like, any boss I've ever had, I call daddy. Like, Tina Fey, that's daddy. Mindy Kaling, that's daddy. <laughs> Lauren Michaels, daddy. Me? Not daddy. Working for daddy Tina Fey and daddy Mindy Kaling is a blessing. It is a blessing because not only are they cool, but like, they have complete daddy energy. Like, they're both like incredibly f***ing talented. Sorry. But also they're just like good people and they've just kind of shown me that like I can enter into any room as I see fit. College. The only thing I can think of is college girls, the sex lives of college girls. And we don't have a theme song, so I'm gonna go ahead and write it right now. Everybody clap for me. On this tempo? All right. The sex lives of college girls is on HBO Max. There's four girls in the show and we all have each other's backs. Okay, it's me who plays Layton, and Aaliyah who plays Whitney, and Pauline who plays Kimberly, and Amrit who plays Bella. Go watch the show, go listen to tattoos, go listen to In the Kitchen and everything we do because we try so fucking hard to make everybody listen to my songs. <laughs> and that is the next single that is dropping. Also, I just wrote the theme song for our show, so I don't know what everybody's doing, but Mindy, if you see this, plug it. Burn. The classic, the great prophet, Nick Jonas once said, I'm burning up, burning up for you, baby. I'm burning up, burning up for you, baby. Slipping into the water. It's a great song. That song changed me. Star. Starships were meant to fly, hands up and touch the sky. Oh, starships were meant to fly. Let's do this one more time. The great prophet Nicki Minaj. Something. Something. You and I got something. Oh, oh, oh. something. It's Layla Hathaway. And it's just an improv session, I think, with her and Snarky Puppy, and it's amazing. It's like a 10-minute video on YouTube, and Layla Hathaway harmonizes with herself. I can't do that. But she's like, <laughs> and she can sing two notes at one time, and it's called something. Phone. Pick up the phone, baby. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know you all, baby. Mm -hmm. It's good. Pick up the phone, baby. Mm -hmm. I just wanna go far, baby girl. Never would I cheat on you. Never would I give you reason. Good song. It's Travis, right? Travis Scott? Yeah, it's Travis Scott. It's on Birds in a Trap Sing McKnight, which is a no skip album. Lie. I do not want to say what I'm about to say. I really can't. I really can't. It's, it, would, it would expose so much of, of, of too much, like I did earlier. Lie. Oh my God, I, can't, I, I, I pass because I cannot say the song that I'm thinking of because I will be in, incredibly embarrassed. I can't. I literally can't. It would give so much away. And after we stop rolling, I'll tell you what it is. Uh, to be honest, I'm quite disappointed. But I am proud of my improvisation. I do think that, you know, 
a great person probably once said, make it your own. Today I really harnessed that. Thanks for watching my song association video. You should go stream and listen to Tattoos in, in the Kitchen. Again, by this little blonde bitch. So, um, thanks. And subscribe to Elle's YouTube for more of these videos because I watch them all, so you clearly should.